Your dinner's in the hot plate. Afraid it'll be a bit dried up. Lawyers are more important than dinner. Is this the last time you'll be seeing him, Crudley? Oh, no. This is very complicated libel. Uh, one thing I've been meaning to mention. My name is Mrs. Crudley, if you don't mind. I speak to you exactly as I speak to the rest. The governor calls me Mrs. Crudley. Go and get your dinner. I haven't the time. I'm due to see the education officer about books for my BA. I only came back to put these safe. So it's a BA. Fat chance I had to study for a BA. I'm not surprised. Did you say something? I said I'm not surprised you didn't have a chance of studying for a BA. That's right. I didn't commit a murder. And I wasn't sent to prison to be kept for 50 pounds a week at the taxpayer's expense. Ah, uh -huh. but if the officers didn't keep asking for wage rises, it wouldn't cost the taxpayer that much. If the wages were a hundred times as much, they wouldn't be worth having to live with your sort. Why do it then? Because, thank God, all prisoners aren't your sort, Crudley. My name is Mrs. Crudley. Mrs. Nothing. You've never been married in your life, small wonder. Nor have you. Small wonder. Shall I get the exercise in now, Miss I Troy? didn't have a chance to study because I went to work when I was 14 to help out because we were poor. I'm not ashamed of that. No, my family was poor and I was ashamed of it. In fact, I was disgusted by it. Go and see the education officer. You know what our parents were, Miss Troy? Morons. Ellie. All right, my parents. I got started off at work at 14, same as her. My mummy and daddy put me in a factory sewing negligees that sold for three months of my wages. And they were proud of themselves instead of vomiting at it. They got no envy. Nice people. No ambition. You'll be late for your appointment. They didn't want me to be better than they were. That's why they hate me now. Because I've got more out of life than they have. God help your poor parents. And yours. They'd have been better off taking to a life of crime. You watch what you're saying. And so would you. Next time you go out, kidnap a toddler, hold it to ransom, and if they won't pay it, just take it and... Uh... Thank you, Miss Troy. 